Mars, the red planet, fourth in line from the sun just after Earth. It has been the subject of human curiosity for generations. It is the planet most like our own and holds the greatest possibility of future human exploration. However, conditions on Mars widely range from what we know on our own planet. Rover missions to Mars allow us to better understand complications and challenges that we will face with future missions. Well, for me, what's exciting about Mars is not only is it, is it among the more Earth-like of the planets, uh, it, has, uh, it does have an atmosphere, it has conditions on Mars where water once flowed on the surface, without a doubt. Uh, it had conditions early on where life may have actually took, taken hold. We don't know that yet, but we're going to send this rover there to help find out. I think, technologically speaking, if, there, if a lot of money was invested in it starting today, sending people to Mars, it will still take about 20 to 30 years from today. But the reason is, is that, is that every, all the systems of that scale have to be tested here on Earth. The first tough part of getting to Mars is actually getting off a launch vehicle, and we have a big rocket to get us there. And once, we're, once this, the, the, the rocket has pushed us in the direction of Mars, the next thing to do is to aim properly and keep the vehicle thermally happy. One of the challenges for a rover like this is that it's designed for a very cold place. Mars is very, very cold. But this rover is in charge of this vehicle all the way to Mars. The next part of the, part of the journey is to actually make sure you don't miss Mars. So aiming the vehicle to Mars, correcting its trajectory as we went, go along to make sure we hit it just right is probably the next hardest part of this mission. The current rover missions that go to Mars all have to slow down, of course. Um, you're going really fast on, in space between Earth and Mars. So you use a variety of ways to slow down. Uh, first of all, you slow down uh, inside a big capsule. Uh, the heat shield in front of that capsule takes a lot of the brunt of the deceleration as you go from space into the atmosphere. But then once you're in the atmosphere, you have to slow down even more and use a big parachute for that. The atmosphere is pretty thin. It's about as, uh, as thin as when you're flying at several hundred thousand feet in Earth's atmosphere. Uh, so when we use a parachute on Mars, it's, it's pretty huge. One of the biggest difficulties is the amount of stuff. Uh, when these vehicles land on Mars, they go there, that's a one-way trip. We send them there, we land them there, and they stay on Mars forever. That's what we're looking forward to. Now imagine you have to bring people back all the way from Mars, and, and that means that not only do you have to land them there safely, but you have to be able to launch them back up again from a, from a launch pad from Mars. The main issues that an astronaut would face on Mars due to the atmosphere would be dust. Uh, Mars uh, is a very dusty place. The dust blows around in the wind, it settles down from the atmosphere all the time, and it's really thin and sharp uh, dust. It, once you're on Mars, you're there for about an Earth year, uh, either on the surface or in, in a space station waiting for the planets to realign, and then another seven to nine months to get back home. So that means that you're at the minimum a two-year mission. The long-term reason for sending people to Mars is, is to give them a chance, uh, human beings a chance to, to, to realize just how small this planet is. Humans have always been explorers, and to uh, virtually with robots and eventually someday with people, explore another planet is just the next step in, in us being explorers as human beings. We may be a long ways from sending humans to Mars, but scientists will continue to study and analyze current Mars missions. And by that same unconquerable spirit of exploration, we may one day push the frontiers of human possibilities and allow people to walk on Mars.